we're going to talk about two really exciting words. One is standard form. The other, no, they're not really exciting, but uh, <clears throat> they are super important, and later on will help you out big time when it comes to doing fast math. So the first term is called standard form, and the second is expanded form. And you need to kind of understand these words because you'll hear them sometimes, but you really need to understand the ideas. And I want to look at this. Let's let's try to remember how to how to remember this term standard. Uh, when I see standard, I see that word stand, and that kind of that's like a guy's name. So stand dard, and then form. So I'm going to show you how to use that to kind of maybe do a little drawing to remember that. So let's look at standard. Standard means normal. So that's basically the way you've always written your numbers, like. 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those are standard or normal forms. So if you draw a picture, you should try this. Write the word stand, dart, and then try to draw a picture of a person. How do you draw a normal person? I'm going to draw like a normal, ordinary, boring guy. His name is Stan. Dard. So here's Stan. I'm trying to make him look really, really ordinary looking. Year. And he's not exciting at all. Maybe kind of a little. Oh, he's going to need a tie because I don't know. He's not very exciting. There he is. Stan. He needs to wear a suit and wear a tie. He's just a normal, ordinary, boring guy. Standard. Not exciting at all. Maybe he has just a normal little looking haircut. Nothing exciting at all about him. There he is. Standard. And that's just to, you want to get the idea that standard. Means kind of the normal form or ordinary everyday form of writing a number. So, like um, 123 is standard form. And that brings us to the other term, which is expanded form. Well, the standard form, remember our friend standard, so that's the normal form. Let's take a number like oh, 20. Oops, that didn't work out so good. 27, all right? That's standard form. It's in standard form right now. Expanded form, there's standard, normal form. Um, so think of that guy with the tie or your own drawing of the guy of something normal, standard, standard. And this one is expanded form. Um, and that's, <clears throat> I like to think of expanded form as think of a balloon. When a balloon starts to get air in it, it expands. So let's just do like the big X expands. It expands. Um, and so how would that look as a number? So let's take the same example of 27 and expand it. And that's where you're just taking these numbers and really you're just saying what they are in value. You're looking at the place value of them. So the 2 would be worth 20, and, and in math, and is a plus. We always say and is equal to a plus or an addition. We're adding when we say the word and. Not, I guess, all the time, but in this case, we do. Um, so that's expanded form. 20 plus 7 is the expanded form of 27. Now, why is this boring stuff important? This, being able to pull apart numbers and expand them, is the basics for all complex math to make your math. To make math fun and easy and creative, you really need to understand um, how to do this. Now, we'll talk more about how to do it, but let's start today's lesson is just those words. Expanded form, 
expanded. We've got standard, normal form, and expanded. Um, that's where you've got the balloon 